Atalanta 3-0 Bayer Leverkusen. Zebay Alonso's unbeaten treble dream is over as former Premier League star Adam Oler Luckman nets stunning hat-trick in Dublin to deliver Europa League glory. The Invincibles became the Invisibles and, after 51 duels undefeated, finally a chink in the armour of Zebay Alonso's Bayer Leverkusen. We just never thought it would be Adam Oler Luckman, once of Charlton in League One, inflicting the mortal wounds in this Europa League final. Three of them, in fact. Atalanta may have ruined the fairy tale that is Alonso and his treble chasing Bundesliga champions, but there is no shortage of romance when it comes to the Italian underdogs, either. They had Bark and Bite and, in Luckman, a player who epitomized the adventure of John Piero Gasparini's brave and brilliant side. His three goals got better as they went, the last after skinning his man with the scissors before producing a dagger of a shot that nearly ripped the net. Atalanta went on the attack from the off and, not cowed by the warriors who supposedly lay in wait, it was they who were the gladiators. The reward for their daring and Luckman's killer instinct was the second trophy in the club's history. The last was a Coppo Italia 61 years ago. This was their fairy tale, you see. Alonso, meanwhile, once spent a summer in Dublin learning English as a teenager. But he was just about lost for words in any language after watching his favourites fail to show. Atalanta won the Europa League after beating Bayer Leverkusen in Wednesday's final in Dublin. Ademola Luckman scored a hat-trick as Atalanta beat Bayern Leverkusen 3-0 to win the Europa League. Leverkusen boss Zebay Alonso was helpless to stop his side's unbeaten run come to an abrupt ending. Luckman completed his incredible hat-trick by displaying excellent footwork in the box and smashing his shot into the roof of the net. Leverkusen players cut dejected figures as they were dominated by Atalanta and lost the Europa League final. We did not plan on having a bad day, but it was not meant to be, he said. We could not cope with many difficult situations that we were preparing because Atalanta demand so much of you. The unbeaten run has come to an end but congratulations to Atalanta, they deserve it, so nothing more to say. This does not entirely diminish his and Leverkusen's wonderful season, far from it but to remain unbeaten and complete a treble with the German Cup this weekend would have stood alone as truly historic. The last team to win three trophies undefeated in a season was Preston North End in 1889. Speaking of Preston, that was the level of opponent Luckman was once up against during his early days at Charlton. The winger's promise took him to Everton but only one Premier League goal in three seasons followed. To be scoring three on this stage would have been met with astonishment on Merseyside. But how his and his team's triumph was deserved. It was one of the best nights of my life, said the 26-year-old. An amazing performance from the team. We did it, we did it, we did it. We've got to celebrate, we made history tonight. There were fireworks, flamethrowers and flares in the minutes before kickoff yet, to everyone's surprise, Leverkusen froze. That was almost literal in the case of Exequiel Palacios, who looked more like one of this city's many monuments when Luckman stole in on his frozen shoulders to open the scoring in the 12th minute. Leverkusen offered close to nothing by way of a response and their first meaningful effort was not until the 35th minute, and even that was a timid lob from Alejandro Grimaldo straight into the arms of Juan Musso. By then, Leverkusen were trailing by two, Luckman helping himself to a second on 26 minutes. The Germans tried to be clever in playing out from the goalkeeper but looked stupid when a stray pass found Luckman, who nutmegged Granite Jucker and swept into the bottom corner from 20 yards. Atalanta manager John Piero Gasparini let out a roar of joy as his side's victory was confirmed. Alonso shared an embrace with UEFA president Alexander Seferin as he received his runners-up medal. Luckman poses with his player of the match award after becoming the first ever player to score a hat-trick in the Europa League final. Luckman completed his own treble on 76 minutes when ghosting by Edmund Tapsober and striking horror into the hearts and minds of the Germans who had been so expectant of victory. And what does this say for next month's Champions League final between Real Madrid and Borussia Dortmund? As a form guide, to borrow horse racing logic, if the best team in Germany cannot beat the fifth best team in Italy, what chance do the fifth best team in Germany stand of beating the best team in Spain? Not that Atalanta and Luckman care. This was their night, their fairy tale, their own piece of history. Tony Cruz announces he will retire after Euro 2024 at the age of 34, as Real Madrid and Germany star brings a close to glittering career. 
Tony Cruz has announced his retirement after 10 years at Real Madrid ahead of his club's Champions League final at Wembley next month. The Germany international will retire from football altogether after taking part in his home European Championships in June, and shared a poignant message announcing his decision on Instagram. The 34-year-old said that he was happy and proud that the Spanish giants were his, his last club, and stressed his desire to end on a high against Borussia Dortmund in Europe's flagship competition. Cruz will play his final La Liga game of the season against Real Betis on Saturday, after Carlo Ancelotti's side clinched the title with two weeks left to play. The midfielder took to social media to share his gratitude for having spent the last decade at the Bernabeu, as well as paying tribute to the club's fans. Tony Cruz will wave goodbye to Real Madrid after their Champions League final on June 1. The Germany star will retire from football following this summer's Euro 2024 on home soil. The 34-year-old joined Los Blancos a decade ago and has seen out years of dazzling success. July 17, 2014, the day of my presentation at Real Madrid, the day that changed my life, Cruz began. My life as a footballer, but especially as a person. It was the start of a new chapter at the biggest club in the world. After 10 years, at the end of the season this chapter comes to an end. I will never forget that insolent successful time, I would particularly like to thank everyone that welcomed me with an open heart and trusted me. But especially I would like to thank you, dear Madridisters, for your affection and your love from the first day until the last one. At the same time this decision means that my career as an active footballer will end this summer after the Euro Championship. I am happy and proud, that in my mind I found the right timing for my decision and that I could choose it by my own. My ambition was always to finish my career at the peak of my performance level. From now on there is only one leading thought, a poor Lar 15. Holler Madrid why not Mars? During his decorated tenure at the club, Cruz has won four league titles, the Copa del Rey, for Super Copa de Espanyols, three UA for Super Cups, the Club World Cup on five occasions, and a Titanic for Champions League trophies. The 2014 World Cup winner has won scores of trophies and individual honors with Real. Cruz is Madrid's second highest active appearance maker, behind Luka Modric. In his final season, Real Madrid clinched the league title to crown a dominant campaign. The 2014 World Cup winner will aim to make it five in the English capital on June 1, with Real Madrid heavily favored against Bundesliga outfit Dortmund. Cruz has made a mighty 463 appearances for Los Blancos, scoring 28 goals and registering 98 assists, the 17th highest in club history, and second highest of players still with the club behind teammate Luka Modric. In their official statement in the wake of Cruz's announcement, Real Madrid expressed gratitude to Cruz for his tenure and said that the player would go down in Real Madrid history as one of our club and international football's greatest legends. Tony Cruz will remain forever in the hearts of every Madridista thanks to his mastery of the game and the fact he has given his all for our jersey, a steady example of the values of Real Madrid, the statement added. Real Madrid president Florentino Perez made his own tribute, adding, Tony Cruz is one of the great players in Real Madrid history and this club will always be his home. His former teammate Gareth Bale sent a message of support to him on social media, writing, Congratulations, Tony Cruz, on an amazing career. A pleasure to play alongside you. Florentino Perez paid tribute to a club legend in the making. Cruz arrived at Madrid during current head coach Carlo Ancelotti's first spell in charge. The veteran has helped stabilize a squad rife with young talent such as Jude Bellingham. The international previously retired from his national team in 2021, but came out of retirement. 2024 saw Cruz join up with new head coach Julian Nagelsmann ahead of their home Euros. Cruz has played a key role in Madrid's title-winning success this season, featuring in 32 league matches and registering nine goal contributions. His renewed form saw him take up the mantle at international level once again, following his initial retirement in 2021 in the wake of Germany's Euro 2020 campaign. Cruz was named in head coach Julian Nagelsmann's provisional squad for the side's upcoming campaign, but despite previously sporting the armband, the midfielder is unlikely to unseat current national team captain Ilkay Gundogan. Germany will begin their campaign against Scotland on June 14, 
and go into the tournament as one of the favorites two years on from their lackluster showing at the World Cup in Qatar. Thanks for watch this video if you like this don't forget like and subscribe this channel. Goodbye.